taking a look at question number four from your operations with whole numbers and decimals unit review. Um, it says to <coughs> estimate the difference to the nearest whole number. Um, so we are rounding to the nearest. When you estimate, you round first, and then you do whatever operation. Uh, in this case, difference subtraction. Um, so the first thing we need to do, though, is round. You round first, and then you add or subtract, or multiply or divide. Um, so we are rounding to the nearest whole number. That means one's place. We shouldn't have any decimals. Um, we're going to look at the 3, and we're going to look at the 6. That's what we're going to be changing. Okay, We're going to use the 4 and the 7 to determine whether we round up or down. So uh, 4 indicates that we should round down, which means we're keeping the 3 the same, keeping the number the same. Okay, the Underlying number is what's changing. It's either staying the same, meaning that we rounded down, or it's going up by 1. Okay, so we said it stays the same. We're going to make it a 13, and everything behind it just becomes a 0. Okay. Um, so that's the same as just writing out 13. It doesn't need to be 13.0. Okay. Um, <clears throat> for the next one, we have 6.791. Um, the 6 is what we're going to change. Okay. 7 tells us that we actually round up. So that means we bring up 6 by 1, which makes it 7. And everything behind it turns into a 0. Which is saying that's the same as 13 minus 7. And if we had 13 and we took away 7, we would be left with 6 as our answer. And that is it for question number 4. If you guys have any questions, make sure to email me.